Congressman Greg Stubbe from House Foreign Affairs and Judiciary. Congressman, a pleasure to see you, too. Your reaction see to you. that report? Well, you have the CEO of Facebook admitting that he censored vital information that affected the outcome of the election. We know now that people would have voted differently had they known that information. He admitted to violating the First Amendment rights and censoring information. Then you have FBI agents using their position to collude and conspire to change the outcome of an election. Uh, I'm drafting a letter right now to Zuckerberg to find out the identity of these specific agents uh, so that when we take the majority back, we have very tough questions to ask them under oath. Yeah, it's Zuckerberg says that the distribution, the viewership of the story was throttled back and the viewership on Facebook did decrease of the Hunter Biden story. And he's saying, you know, it was terrible. I mean, it turned out after the fact, the fact checkers looked into it. Uh, no one was able to say it was false. So to your point, here's the other thing, too, Congressman. FBI whistleblowers, by the dozens now, our D.C. sources are telling this, they're coming forward. They're upset. They're angry about the FBI headquarters getting politicized. They're talking to Senators Ron Johnson's office and Chuck Grassley's office. The top FBI brass in D.C. did do the bidding of Chuck Schumer, Nancy Pelosi, and Adam Schiff and got the FBI to delay and block the probe into Hunter Biden's alleged crimes until after the 2020 election. Bury it as Russian disinformation when it was backed by Treasury and bank documents. Watch Senator Ron Johnson with us last night on this. Are these FBI agents really upset and outraged about what's going on, the whistleblowers? Yes, that's why they're coming forward. These are individuals that are coming forward and saying that uh, uh, inside the FBI, there was an effort uh, in Chuck Grassley's whistleblower's uh, case, a scheme hatched in August of 2020 to downplay the uh, derogatory information on Hunter, basically quash the investigation. Uh, we have whistleblowers coming forward that are saying that uh, specifically they were told not to look at the at the uh, a laptop because they didn't want to interfere in the election. Congressman, what are you hearing about these FBI whistleblowers? Well, and there was 14 of which that came to Jim Jordan in the House, uh, and you had them involved in the 2016 election. You had the Russia collusion, them getting uh, warrants from the FISA court to surveil on American citizens. This has been going on for years. And finally, it's coming to the point where whistleblowers are coming forward. People are coming forward and Americans are starting to see that the FBI at the highest levels is corrupt and politicized and trying to drive a narrative and drive the direction that they want politically this country to go. It's a violation of the law. And when we take the majority back, we're going to hold all these individuals individuals accountable. So, you know, they, uh, Senator Johnson and Grassley, they sent a letter to two top, yet, two top FBI officials in D.C. to actually sit down for a transcribed interview about why they, all of a sudden, out of the blue, they debriefed these two senators uh, about Russia, you know, about Russian disinformation um, after Nancy Pelosi and Chuck Schumer in July uh, were red flagging that this might be happening about Hunter Biden. And then all that stuff gets leaked to the media in order to destroy their Senate finance and Senate Homeland Security probe into Hunter Biden, which found alleged crimes, including things like prostitution and uh, potential um, money laundering, backed by bank records. Yeah, there's a ton of crimes that are evidence on that laptop that the FBI and the DOJ are refusing to investigate because it's the president's son. And when the Republicans take the majority back, we're going to flush all that out, make it transparent to the American people. And these Facebook and Twitter and these other social media sites are going to be held to account and not be able to violate people's First Amendment rights. Got it. Congressman Stubbe, have a good weekend. Thanks for joining us.